Hey folks, Chad here again with another walk around video and review this time of the 2023 Airstream Caravel 19 CB, CB standing for quarter bed. Now this one has a few cool features that kind of surprises as far as the 19. The bathroom is what I'm talking about and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Um, the 19 and the 22 foot are probably my two favorite floor plans in the Bambi slash Caravel line of Airstream travel trailers. I think the 19 is just the perfect size for your average SUV buyer, uh, small truck, mid-sized truck buyer that wants the ability to get away for the weekend or, uh, you know, a little bit longer than a weekend. The truth is I met someone recently uh, who full times in a 19 CB and they love it. It's a couple. So there's two of them. They, you know, they don't have any problems with the size of the bed, which is a big complaint sometimes with the 19 CB. Um, they love it and they might be watching this video. If so, comment below. Uh, I like the, the 19 CB. I think it's a great size, especially for what you're getting from it. Now the 16 is cute. Like you, you just can't deny the cuteness of the 16, uh, 16 foot Caravel and Bambi. Uh, but you're getting a combined uh, black and gray tank with the C with the with the 16, excuse me. Uh, and there's a little bit less room. The 19, you get the the black and gray tank and fresh water tank, and there's quite a bit more room in the 19. So let's jump into it. We're going to walk around the outside and review that first, and then we'll jump to the inside and uh, take a look at that. And I'll show you the bathroom and everything else that makes the 19 CB awesome. All right, let's jump in. Now starting with the outside of the Caravel 19 CB. Uh, one of the things I really like about this is it is 19 foot, it's 19 foot five inches on your exterior length, your height, including the air conditioner that's up there is gonna be nine feet, seven inches. And then you have an exterior width of nine foot. What makes this awesome and makes it potentially a great uh, SUV travel trailers, your midsize truck travel trailer is gonna be the weight so your hitch weight is only 550 pounds. Your base or dry weight is 4,000 pounds. And then your gross vehicle weight is gonna be 5,000 pounds. I think that it's just a great sweet spot for most of your vehicles that have a tow package and have the ability to tow. This is gonna work out perfect for it. The Caravel, you do get the solar guard. You also get the rock guards and as well as the aluminum step. There's a few things as far as the Bambi and the Caravel. The floor plans are the same. There's some features, and I think it's right around 19 to 20 or so features that are different from the Bambi to the Caravelle. And at some point, I'll do a video that explains those um, and compares them directly. But in this case, I'm just going to point out a few things that makes the Caravelle great. So you have the aluminum step that pops out. You do you do have the Goodyear tires with the Dexter axles and Dexter brakes. Uh, the brakes are... There's no maintenance, they're self-adjusting. They, they do that, all that stuff on their own outside of your normal brake maintenance um, with those is, is all you really have to do. You have your tankless hot water heater there. It does come with the same Zipti awning that you get on the Flying Cloud. It's a manual awning, it's super easy to use once you get used to it. And there's some really good videos out there uh, on how to utilize that awning. Uh, you do get the standard backup camera as you, you do with all of your Airstreams and you get the bumper on the Caravelle where the Bambi, you, you don't have that bumper. Uh, so you have a little bit of storage there. And then with the Caravelle, your other storage compartment on the outside is gonna be here. It's right there. Now, this is one thing that, that I don't particularly like, and that is that in this compartment, you have exposed pipe for your drains. There's a vent there. And then you've got your hot, cold water running around there. You know, that's not my favorite setup. I'd like to see that hidden, but also they gave you as much storage as they possibly could uh, with this. And this is under the bed here. So you've got some storage on the inside, which I'll show you in a second. And then this does have that positive lock that actually pulls this door into the seal. This is insulated. And then you've got a seal that goes all the way around. It's a great setup there. You do have the window that's over the bed there that does open and it is the Airstream windows that they build in house. LED brake lights, turn signals, LED markers. This does have the manual stabilizers and then you have your black and gray tank there. As I mentioned, it does have a black and a gray tank. Now your, your fresh water tank, that's gonna be 23 gallons. 
your gray is going to be 29 gallons and your black tank is 19 gallons. Then you have your cable satellite inputs there. It does come with the 30 amp smart plug. Fantastic plug. It's super easy to use. There's more metal to metal contact to pull it, to take it off. You squeeze these down. It pulls right off and then it just snaps right in. Very easy to use, especially compared to your traditional power plug. Then you have your city fill, sorry, city water inlet, black tank flush, your fresh water uh, potable water fill is right here. It is gravity fed. There's a vent there as well. And then you've got your hot and cold outside shower behind that door. Your furnace is living right there. And then underneath right there is going to be your sewer hose storage. You do still get that. And then you can see some of the tanks that are hanging down right there as well. And then your front stabilizers. And then moving around to the front of the coach, you do have the electric uh, tongue jack. You have the Demco um, hitch system there. And behind the uh, propane tanks, you do have a propane quick disconnect there. Um, you have your propane bottles hidden behind this really nice um, hand-built cover by Airstream. And then two 20-pound tanks are living in there. There's enough room. If you really wanted to, you could put uh, a 30-pound system in there. There would be some modification, it looks like, right here to lock those in place. But two 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 40 pounds of propane on a coach this size is probably plenty. And then you do have the hand-built box for your batteries right there by Airstream. On the Bambi, you would have a plastic um, box for your batteries there. And as I mentioned, you do get your solar guards and you get your rock guards as well. So that is the outside of the Airstream 2023 uh, Caravel 19 CB. Let's pop to the inside and uh, walk around that. All right, let's go. Moving to the inside, I do want to show you the door. Airstream's doors make them famous. It is that vault style door that you will see on your flying clouds, your internationals, throughout the line. Um, it is hand built by Airstream as well as the, the inside screen there. You have eight welds total on that, four on each side. It takes them roughly eight hours to build this door. And from that, you're going to get the sound of quality. That is, that is one of the things I love to have customers do in, per, in person is open and close the door. You have these oversized solid aluminum hinges. Uh, it opens, there's just a feel and a sound to it that, that just, it's quality. And that's something about Airstream that makes Airstream unique is that they build for quality, not just for, you know, the cheapest thing that they can do. Um, Quality is what makes Airstream unique. I, I think you can argue that there isn't anything right now in the industry that is built as well as an Airstream. So in this, in the 19 CB, in ways is similar to the 16, the front section here is similar to the, the 16, but there is quite a bit more room in the 19 over the 16. Now we'll start kind of here in the front section. So you've got your Booth.net here that does convert down into a bed so you could bring someone along with you, a grandkid or kids. Uh, two kids could definitely fit there. An adult could fit there. Uh, to this side, you've got your battery disconnect. That is a remote disconnect. Uh, you hit that, you'll actually hear the battery disconnect uh, somewhere else in the camper. Click on and click off. You've got your uh, light switches. You've got your dimmer switches there. Moving up, you've got some storage over top. And this does have very, very similar to the International with the sliding uh, glass doors there. Now, on this side, you're going to have your JL Audio Radio. And you've heard me talk about this if you've watched any of my videos. I really like this radio. It sounds phenomenal. Uh, in the Caravel, you're not going to get the JL Audio speakers. You do get those in the Flying Clouds and then as you go up. And then you have your HDMI input here. You have a USB plug there for USB power, and then you have an inverted circuit right here. 
And this lets you be able to put something like an Apple TV up on this counter or a Roku, plug it in here, plug it into your inverted power, and then be able to use that with your TV that's in the back, which I'll show you in a second. There is some good storage above and then storage all the way through on both sides. And this is decently uh, deep storage. You know, I've got the Airstream pack sitting in here flat so you can get an idea of how deep that is. And then you do have a light above your dinette and reading lights on both sides. You have an additional power plug there. And then your controls are here. So you've got your sea level two tank monitors that actually gives you a percentage readout. You've got solar on board. This one's option with the solar. It also has the convection microwave option and the window only option as you saw on the outside. And then has the, the solar charge controllers right there. It is a Vectron uh, Energy Controllers MPPT. Below that, you have your progressive dynamics, 1000 watt inverter control for turning that on and off. And then when you're traveling, there is some storage below. Um, it's a pull out, pull out drawer there. And then you have your trash can storage right there. Of course, yes, you do get a trash can even with a caravel. And then on the other side, as you come in, you've got some storage below. You could put shoes in there as well as any other thing that you want to. And then you've got a small pantry. And I say small in a relative sense. This is a nice size pantry. There's three shelves in there. Um, you could fit a good amount of food in there, especially with this being uh, size-wise, you're know, really a weekend warrior's size coach. That's plenty of storage there. I like the shelf right here, being where my wallet and keys would hang. Keys there, wallet right there. Key hangers, you have the whiteboard. You have another inverted circuit there. So if you have something that you want to plug in here and be able to power off the batteries, you're able to. And... Then we'll move towards the dinette. So this is going to come with the convection microwave. So my regular microwave, convection microwave, and it's also an air fryer. That is a new feature that we're seeing in 2023 model year. And this is an option. I highly recommend optioning the convection microwave over the regular microwave. A little bit of storage right there. And I also like how they do utilize the space here and give you a little bit more storage right there and then you have a nice drawer that pulls out below which gives you the, you know the airstream silverware organizer a lot of space here you can pull this out if you just want to use that drawer and then you do have your stainless steel surface mounted sink there and then the seat cover which can also be you could use that as a cutting board right there it does have the residential style faucet I love that the port windows are right there behind the sink. You can see out while you're doing things in the kitchen. You do have a vented stovetop here with a light. And then I love this two burner stovetop. The larger burner in the back, the smaller burner up front. It's residential, it looks fantastic, and it fits in that spot super well. And then you do have some storage above. And that's similar to the storage across the front. It's nice and deep. One on each side. And before I move to the other side, you do have some additional storage below the sink there. And some storage beside the sink right there. I do like that they color match the furnace vents that go out there. So that that's this side of the kitchen. And then you move to the other side, the opposing side. And you're going to have your 4.1 cubic foot refrigerator. It does have a small freezer right there. Comes with a little ice cube maker. It is electric. It's all electric. So it will cool down quicker and stay cool. It's 12 volt pulls right off of your batteries. You have some storage, nice little storage pantry above. And then one below. And this one is cool because a lot of times with, with Airstream, They'll use that space back there above the tire uh, for a component, you know, heater or something, something of, those nat of that nature. In this case, you actually have that storage, your tires right there underneath this. So it goes all the way back, which is really nice to have that little bit extra storage. And while I'm down here, the storage that is below the bed. Now, this is quite deep. 
you have two containers here and then there's an additional large container that you can get that comes with it as well it has this really nice felt line curved door it is solid wood So that is your kitchen area. Just shutting these doors for the 19 CB Caravelle. Fantastic. And it's great size. It, it, you know, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is there's not a ton of counter space that this is close enough that your dinette table also becomes part of the counter space for the kitchen as well. So I'm going to move to the bathroom area and the bathroom area as well as the bedroom are kind of in the same space, but also they're not in the same space. So you do have a curtain that pulls across here so you can completely separate the bedroom, bathroom from the kitchen and dinette section of the Caravelle. You have a nice wardrobe here. And then of course your, your awning arm and your manual uh, arm for put, putting down the stabilizers. Your power system is right there below the wardrobe. Both your uh, fuses and your um, breakers are in there. And then you have another surface mounted stainless steel sink with some storage below for the bathroom area. And then you have your light controls, your AC 13.5 with a heat pump controllers right there. Of course, it does have a furnace as well. And then your tankless on-demand hot water heater control is here. And you have, hey, you have a little bit of storage behind a little uh, medicine cabinet behind the mirror. Nice large mirror, which you don't always get in an Airstream. Lights above. And as I mentioned, there is a curtain that will pull across to separate the space. Now, one of the things that makes this feel bigger, makes the 19 feel bigger than the 19 is going to be the way they did this bathroom, this corner bath. Now, this door has a couple of tricks uh, up its sleeve. The first is going to be when it's in its in position. That's going to give you the ability to walk right beside the bed and jump into the bed or lay down into the bed. You can convert this to the out position when it's like this. And that is going to give you the feel of a much larger space than that actually is. Now, I'm gonna jump into the bathroom area real quick. So you can open that door like so, walk straight in, and then close. Flip the camera around so you can see me. Okay, so now you guys know, you've seen me on video. I'm not a small person, um, but I have plenty of room. I actually would almost argue from a sitting down position, I'm sitting on the, the commode now that I have more leg space and actually more arm space than some of the larger uh, 23, 20, well, not 23, but the 25, the 27 foot flying clouds that enter your internationals and so forth with the split bathroom. This is actually from a commode area. There's more room here is kind of my point. Um, it's a nice setup. There's enough room for my legs. I've got room for my arms and I'm, I'm comfortable. The other thing that makes this fairly nice is I'm going to move around and step into the shower. There's actually, I th it feels like, and it probably isn't, I haven't looked at measurements or measured anything, but this feels like a larger shower than what you get in your split baths with uh, some of the larger floor planes. It does have a shower curtain that pulls across there and then disappears back into its little holder. I know there are people out there, folks out there that don't like this. I'm sure you could put a curtain here, do some kind of a modification on your own if you wanted to. I like this because it just disappears once you're finished with it. There's plenty of room. I'm not touching the walls or anything in here. You do get the shower curtain here. It has the pull across the line that connects to here. That's good for things like bathing suits, racks. Not really heavy items, that's where the towel rack would come into place. And then, as you can see in the frame, you have the shower head that you can move around. Um, and you still have a small seat, which I wouldn't necessarily sit on. But you have a small seat right there as well. So if you wanted to sit down, you could. Um, for things that you might need to do as, as a lady. 
And then there's a little bit of storage right here for um, your shampoos, soaps, and things like that as well. I'm gonna pull back around and go back out. So this door now, you'll pull it forward and then it opens right up. And you come out. <clears throat> now you do have the additional porthole windows above the commode area and of course a shade to come down and then toilet hole uh, toilet paper holder and then your porcelain commode is right there now i will say like i'm not saying that's not a somewhat of a tight fit you know i have to turn sideways to get through there but from a use of space with the corner bed floor plan it's a great idea and now that i'm talking about the bed i'm going to put that back into the inward configuration so I have more room to get into the bed. Now, the size of this bed, it is a smaller bed. It's 48 inches wide by 76 inches long. That is something that you're gonna wanna take into consideration. If you need a wider bed, then you may wanna look at the 22 foot and really even moving up to maybe the 23 foot um, flying cloud, uh, you, you may wanna go th that route. Um, and then, you know, of course with a 23 foot flying cloud, now you can get the twin bed, which you'd have 36 by 80 inches, I believe is what that bed is. So this is a little bit smaller bed, but two people fit in it. As I mentioned, uh, earlier in the video, I know a couple, uh, that full times in a 19 CB, they have no problem with the size of the bed. They love the coach, the size of the coach. They're also towing it with a gladiator, a Jeep gladiator. They get really good fuel economy. I think I remember him telling me that they're getting somewhere around 15 uh, miles per gallon with the gladiator towing the 19 CB. So, I mean, it's a fantastic combination. Um, you do have the storage underneath and you have storage above right here. And your TV is right there. That is the 12 volt TV that you've seen with the other 2023 models, uh, model year. And they went to the 12 volt TV that opens up your thousand volt uh, inverter to be able to give you more power to other things. You have an inverted circuit right there and then four USB plugs. Your HDMI is right there, which connects back to that front HDMI. And then this is on a really nice swivel system. So it can, you know, as it sits now, it's in the bedroom area, so you can watch it while you're in, in the bed. But then you can pull it out, and it becomes a TV that you can watch while you're sitting at your dinette. You can convert that dinette into a, you know, chaise lounge and lay there and watch TV if you wanted to. It's a nice system with the, with the TV, makes it makes it uh, dual useful dual dual uses there and so that's going to conclude the interior walk around and the, the exterior walk around of the 2023 caraville 19b uh, i think it's a fantastic floor plan it is one that you need to come to a dealership come here to airstream at greensboro and and get inside of one and actually get a feel for its size it's hard to really see uh, or get a feel for the size of an Airstream, as the size of a Caravelle, for instance, just from a video. Uh, so definitely recommend, give me a call, uh, shoot me an email, set up a time to come out and see, you know, the 19 or 22 or 20. Uh, the 19 CB and the 22 FB are probably my two favorite Caravelle floor plans. That's not to say that the 16 isn't a good floor plan and the 20 isn't a good floor plan. They're, they're both, they're all four floor plans are great. Personally, I like the 19 and the 22 the 19 CB, this is one I could see uh, purchasing for my wife and I uh, to do weekend trips. And, you know, you could do, obviously, longer trips. You could do a week long, two weeks long. Or as my friends who are full-time in M1, you get full-time in the CB. So if you've got to this point, you watch the whole video. First of all, thank you for watching the whole video. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe below. That helps me. Uh, and also let you know when there are other videos popping up of Airstreams. As soon as I see something I haven't made a video on, I try to make a video on it. And I do have some more videos coming up. I have a classic 30-foot coming. I have a classic 33-foot coming. Uh, I also am going to be able to compare the different, the two colors of the classics. Uh, and I have a Flying Cloud 23-foot coming as well. So be sure to, to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be alerted when those videos post. You guys live riveted. Hopefully we'll talk soon. Have a great day.